Hey there everybody, Shane and Aaron with The Turnaround. And what we're doing today is we are going to clean out the Raycor filter housing for our waste veggie oil system. Okay, so those of you who have a golden fuel system or even a fuel system that's similar, and maybe they use Raycor, uh, you can use this video. So while running on waste vegetable oil, the Raycor housing does a really great job and the Raycor Aquablock filters do a great job of filtering water and particulate, but over time, uh, we haven't really developed uh, our kind of our mileage threshold yet. But over time, and you'll kind of see it, the bowl gets a little schmutzy. It gets covered in some of the gunk that settles out from the filter as the turbine spins. And what we're going to do today is to you know make sure that we maintain efficiency and just maintain the system. Is we're going to take apart the filter housing, and we are going to remove the bowl clean that bowl, clean the turbine and all the parts inside there, put it all back together, fill it back up with oil, and get back on the road. Okay gang, so the tools that are required for this job is a screwdriver, a 3 8 half inch, doesn't matter which size, what you do need that is very, very important is an extension. We're using a 10 inch extension so that our ratchet can move freely underneath the filter housing. So you've got a rough roughly eight inches of, of clearance that you're going to need to move the ratchet. Otherwise, your job will be very, very painful. And that's all the tools that are required. Oh yeah, and some soap and some hot water. Okay, so the first step that we're going to take in doing this process is Erin is going to, after she moves her fat head in the way of the camera, Erin is going to unclamp the line into the filter. So this is the line coming from the tank to the filter housing. And the reason why we do this is because when we have a full tank like we do, uh, you can create a bit of a siphon effect as you unclamp the bowl and open the entire system and you'll wonder why, hey, you just continue to drain oil and it'll be all over the bed of your truck. This way, it just drains out what's in the filter housing bowl only and then stops and doesn't pull anything out of your tank. Okay, so now what we're doing is moving on to the filter housing. At the bottom of the filter housing, and we will attach a PDF so you can kind of see the anatomy of the Raycor filter housing, there is a valve. Okay, it's just a finger tight valve that you screw and unscrew. And what it does is it seats the washer and unseats the washer at the bottom of the bowl. And what we're doing is we're opening that up and that will drain. Now, for periodic maintenance to drain off water as you're operating, you, you, do, you do that you know, every time you fill up. But we're going to drain the entire bowl, okay, so we can, we can manage the oil. And we're going to reserve that oil, and we're going to reprime our system with that oil, and we'll show you that later. Okay, but what Aaron's doing is, is opening up the filter housing, and there is your Raycor. It's an Aquablock 2 micron filter. And there's the part number on the right side, if you need to buy those. You can also buy those in bulk on Amazon. They come out to be about 12 bucks a filter. Okay. If you go to a marine store or something like that, you can expect to pay 19 to 20 dollars. So buying in bulk, if you have the system, is far more advantageous. What she's doing now is removing the filter. She's going to pull it up. She's going to let all the uh, reserve oil just kind of drain off for a second. Let me see that there. Right. Now we just changed this filter yesterday, so it's still good. It looks kind of brown and shitty, but it's still pretty good. Okay, the vacuum pressure is is right where we need it to be. So we're gonna hold on to this guy and give it a couple more hundred, you know, maybe around three hundred more miles, and then we'll change it. Okay, so Aaron's just putting that aside. She wraps up in a bag so we don't have oil over everything. You will find that in the beginning you will be messy as hell until you get your systems down and get a little more refined. Okay. So that's coming out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause now and just let the rest of this bowl drain. Okay, I'll show. You. Okay, Aaron's getting to it right now. So she's loosening the bolts. There are four bolts that anchor the two parts of the filter housing together. And you're just going to loosen each one of those bolts. Okay. 
Now we're working in kind of a confined space. Depending on how your system is configured, you may not have the same constraints that we do. But our application, we've got about 10 inches worth of space between the tanks and the truck side body in the, in the bed. She's going to undo those bolts, all four of them, and that will we'll be able to drain the rest of the oil out. Very important note, there is a gasket that seals the connection between the two parts of the housing. Do not lose that gasket. Gasket. Make sure you know where the hell that thing is. Okay. It's not an expensive part to replace, but it's a pain in the ass. It'll render your system useless until you can get that gasket again. So this is the cause of all of our problems. This is why the bottom would no longer drain water and schmutz properly. All this needs to be dumped and everything will be cleaned thoroughly with soap and Okay. We're back. So this is the clean bowl. Okay, notice there's no schmutz. It's a little stained up. Okay. But it's nice and clear. We dried it off. And this is just something I wanted to point out. So this is that little nipple that I was telling you about. It's um, <clears throat> how you would kind of drain or poop the schmutz out at the bottom of the uh, filter just for periodic maintenance. As you collect water from the filter, it will drip down into here and then you just drain that water off periodically. All right. And that's what it looks like. And you'll screw that and unscrew that. And inside, there's a little washer, a little rubber washer there. And it just basically pulls that washer taut against the opening. <clears throat> Something to be mindful of when you clean this out is that little hole right there. That is where the water and the schmutz from the oil will drip out. So you want to make sure that you get in there with a little bit of a pipe cleaner or wire or, you know, a jet of water or whatever you can to get that nice and clear. But that's something you really need to pay attention to as well when you clean it. And there you have it. We're going to reassemble the bowl. You can if you like. There are other parts in there and you can refer to the diagram that we put up inside the filter housing. I'll see if I can show you in there. Alright, and that's the... Down inside there is the rotary turbine component of that. You can take those off and you can clean all those out as well. They're just hand tightened. But for our application, we are on the road. We're doing this on the fly. So we're going to skip that step today because this is really the meat and potatoes of the cleaning is this guy right here. Okay.